And um, I'm just showing you guys how to control your Xbox, your 360, with either iPhone, iPod Touch, and um, it's pretty much a smart glass feature, but since the tablets aren't out yet, um, you can't do that yet. So here we're using an iPhone, um, an iPod Touch, so I don't have an iPhone, I have a HTC One, which I'm using to record this. So yeah, this is really simple guys, so let's just go over to the iPod now. Hopefully you guys can see it properly, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, yeah, there we go, it's kind of, yeah, it's focused now. What you want to do is you want to go to the App Store and you want to download an app called My Xbox Live. Alright, so just pretty much type in Xbox Live into the App Store, you find My Xbox Live, download it, install it, simple. Now what you want to do is you want to click the app, so go like that. And it is uh, really simple. And then you sign, oh, it's signed in. I really wish I could do this some other way, but it's, it's the easiest way to do it. So it's really simple. Well, it's just going to um, load, connect to Xbox Live. Retrieving data, come on. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, and that, now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll over to the very end. Oh, you're going to have to make sure this is uh, updated. So now, that, now that I've scrolled over to the end, I'll touch this. So you can pretty much see. I'm going to go um, quick play. And uh, that's just going to load. That's just quick playing, like... Connecting to your Xbox. Oh, make sure you sign in. Oh, cancel. So for that, uh, six with companion set. Yes, yeah, try again. Why isn't this working? Oh, there we go. There we go. And now it's working. Now choose something. Now, pretty much, you can just control from here. Choose something to start on your Xbox. So you can choose to any of these features, like any games and stuff like that. So I just go, um, Xbox music and video and it's going to start Xbox music and video on your Xbox and as you can see I'm I'm obviously not using my controller because it's right there and yeah and now it's really simple now you just use the things as you can see uh, um, now it's just moving around uh, press down go left go up up again go down see it's, it's it's actually pretty sick so if you're like too lazy to use a controller I don't know why you would be or if you want to give like a secondary control to someone else, then you can just do that. So you can just go like spotlight. Um, so go right again. Um, I don't know. It's really hard to actually control this because you've got to hold the phone and the thing. But yeah, and you can just press A and stuff like that. Look at it. It's, it's actually really nice. It's actually a really nice feature. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. You can press B and maybe you can go back again. Yeah, you can. So that's pretty much it guys, that's how you control your Xbox with Smart Glass or with an iPod Touch. It's actually, it's pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. You can like, use it as a remote and it's still working, that's really sick, I like that. So yeah, like if you can use it as a TV remote, almost, maybe if you go Xbox Video, and yeah. So yeah, let's try this connect. Xbox! Oh shit, things on. I, I'll, I'll I'll do a review of Connect later. It's not going to work properly because I fucking no, things going off. So, um, yeah, washing machine. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.